Firstly, we have plant anatomy and then followed by this we have plant physiology that is plant physiology. Now, giving you overview about this particular chapter, anatomy talks about internal details. What exactly is happening within the cell? How the cells are gonna divide? How is tissue gonna be formed? What is the function of each tissue? How is that they're gonna conduct food and water and all those activities? Physiology talks about inside content of cell. How you have catabolic and anabolic processes occurring. If you remember, metabolism is sum total of chemical reaction in a cell. That is, all kind of chemical reaction. Some reactions are making or building up a product. Some reactions are breaking a larger molecule into smaller one or simple one. So all these processes are known as metabolic processes. So cyclical changes that are occurring during that phase is being thought under physiological part. Now to start with, let us first talk about plant anatomy. What exactly is the characteristic features that we observe in this particular part. We'll start by talking about how exactly is origination of this science occurring. See, it is obvious that you have many atoms in nature. Okay? These atoms combine together to form molecule. Many atoms together will form molecule. And many molecules then combine together to form cell organelles. Many organelles together will put forth and then they develop a structure called as cell, which is basic structural and functional unit of life. Basic fundamental unit of life is nothing but a cell. Many such cells will combine together and then they will form a structure known as tissue. So what exactly is tissue? We have got an overflow of it. Like my atoms are minute particles. You all have studied about atoms that they have got protons, neutrons, electron. Many such atoms will combine together and then they will form a structure called as molecule, larger one. Many molecules combine together and then they form cell organelles like mitochondria, endoplasmic reticulum, nucleus. Right? You have so many different cell organelles. So cell organelles are being formed by molecules. And those organelles, many of them put together, will actually act like a cell. Many cells put together now is tissue. Further, if it was animals, tissues combine together to form an organ, Organs combine together to form an organ system. An organ system will actually form or make an organism. But in plants, we restrict ourselves to tissues. It was Mr. Nehemiah Grew. Who is considered as father of anatomy. So he is called as father of anatomy because he was the one who initially worked on these aspects of anatomy he also published data regarding plant tissues okay so this was an overview of plant tissue as such if we have to define a tissue let us talk, try to talk about definition of tissue see tissue is defined as group of cells Okay. Tissue is group of cells with common origin, common structure, and common function. So, group of cells with common origin, common structure, and common function. Common origin means what? There was a cell. Initially, there was a mother cell. All cells have originated from this mother cell. The daughter cells are formed from this cell itself. Okay? So initially, there was a mother cell. And from that cell, we see daughter cells being formed and they creep, keep growing. Okay? So origin is common for all the daughter cells. One mother cell. 
ठीक है नाउ मूविंग अहेड फर्दर वेन आई से कॉमन स्ट्रक्चर इफ वन सेल इज सर्कुलर ऑल दी अदर सेल्स विल बी सर्कुलर इट सेल्फ इफ वन सेल इज पॉलीगोनल ऑल सेल्स विल बी पॉलीगोनल इन इट्स नेचर इफ वन सेल इज रेक्टेंगुलर All the other cells will be rectangular in nature. This is how plant tissues look like, common in origin. From one mother cells, they have originated into others. Common in structure, all of them will look alike. If one is rectangular, all are rectangular. One is circular, all are circular. One is polygonal, all are polygonal. If one is oval, all are oval. If one is tapering with its end, all are tapering with its end. So they all look alike. Like Chinese people, you see their faces, all of them look same. You cannot differentiate. So this is how structurally they all look similar. So group of cells which are similar in their origin, similar in their structure and function. See, if one cell is performing function of storage of food and water, say if this cell is helping in storage of food and water all the other cells will also help in storage of food and water that is the property when i say that group of cells are common in their function so all of them will perform same function like you will have what you say market area where completely for clothes there is one street completely for what you say footwears there is one street so all shops there will be of footwear all shops here will be for clothes so if one shop is selling clothes all the other shops will sell cloth if one shop is selling footwears all of them will sell footwear similarly if one cell is helping in storage of food and water all the other cells will help in storage of food and food and water so that is about definition of so called tissue what is a tissue group of cells which have common origin common structure and common function now one critical point if we have to specify over here common function is quite what you say well known but origin can differ some cells can originate from different but later on do work together okay structurally they can show differences so structure and origin can either be similar or dissimilar but function is pakka similar but for examination point of view you will define it as group of cells which have common origin common structure and common function that is overview about what you say plant tissues now based on the property of division these tissues are classified into two types we call it as meristematic tissue and permanent tissue let us not get into details of this because in higher classes you will talk about meristematic tissues and permanent tissue i'll just give you an short what is the information about it see when i say meristematic tissue these are the tissues which are meant for division continuously by the time it has taken birth till it till it matures the work of that meristematic tissue is to divide keep dividing cells keep on dividing themselves that is property of meristem and how about permanent when meristematic cells grow older they are known as permanent tissue this particular cell is always gonna remain in one particular shape size and one particular function so meristems are meant for division permanent they actually take up one function and stay there in that function 